Hey guys, California Dave here. Hey, and the chips are starting to fall even more so in Arizona. Arizona is leading the charge. Wow, the excitement never ends in Arizona. Now we have somebody speaking up for the people. It's just a little bit more of we the people uh, speaking out to our government and and just chipping away and taking back control from some of the corruption that's going on. Check this video out where he actually reads the warrant out that he's uh, submitted to the uh, Supreme Court. This is really great. You guys are gonna love it. What has happened is that folks here in Arizona have recognized that there's some things afoot, that there's crime that's happened in our election system. And they said, you know what? We're not gonna sit by. We're gonna find out the truth, even though the, all the controversy and you know, know the election was secure, it wasn't secure, they said, you know what, we're gonna see for ourselves. So citizens of Arizona have stepped up and they've gone in to the Supreme Court and presented what is called a quo, a writ of quo wanto. Now this writ of quo wanto, the purpose of it is to bring before the court evidence of the uh, up, uh, breaking of laws within our election system prior to the 2020 election, going back all the way to 2018 and even possibly before. So from 2018, 2019, and 2020, we are looking at the at a, we, with with evidence and fact factual evidence that we have people in office currently who are usurping the position under violations of laws of the HAVA Act and uh, the EAC Commission. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a press release on behalf, like I said, as a witness on behalf of the uh, citizens who have come together in a, in a non-biased form and just come together for their constitutional rights to fight for those things. So if you would bear with me, I'm gonna read from here. It says, Quo Wanto, filed in, the Arizona, filed in the Arizona Supreme Court by we the people of Arizona, potentially uh, unseating all state elected officials. As average citizens of Arizona from all walks of life, we have discovered that our past elections in 2018 through 2020 are out of compliance per the U.S. Election Assistance Commission. The Help America Vote Act, HAVA, of 2002 established the EAC and our state of Arizona takes a strict view on this federal election law. Our state of Arizona went out of compliance in February 20 of 2017 or possibly sooner and was only recently purported to be recertified in January of 2021. There are multiple problems with the documentation regarding contractual laboratories that invalidate any machine certification. A certification can only last for a maximum of two years and there are very important reasons for this. This will either unseat every state level politician in Arizona or declare every federal law applied to Arizona as unlawful. The violation of the federal law is due to no certification of the voting system machines, which includes all aspects of machines from hardware to software to add-ons by the voting systems test laboratories. The VSTL is accredited and overseen by the EAC per the HAVA Act and is crucial to the compliance and standards set forth by law. This accreditation must be thoroughly vetted every two years. Arizona takes a strict view of federal election laws per ARS 16-442 Bravo. Machines or devices used in any election for federal, state, or county offices may only be certified for use in this state and may only be used in the state if they comply with the Help America Vote Act of 2002. And if those machines and devices have been tested and approved by laboratory, that is accredited pursuant to the Help American Vote Act of 2002. So folks, along with that is this, okay? This is the quo wit of Ronto. This is only a portion. What comes with this is a stack of evidence, all right? That evidence has been submitted to the court systems, okay? Now, 
We are going to give the court systems five days. They have to answer to we the people. They have to answer to the state Arizona uh, citizens, okay? If they do not, then we've got to question the fact that are they acting constitutionally on their oath of office and are they for the people or against the people? Now, folks, this right here, again, is a non-biased thing. I am here as a witness. I am separate from this. This is from Arizona people, okay? Um, those who are involved in this, I'm going to read from you, all right? These are the, these are the folks who are either are unknowingly or knowingly usurping the position, okay? So bear with me as I read these individuals, these politicians who are in the office usurping their position. First one, Governor Doug Ducey. Second one, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. State Treasurer Kimberly Yee. Maricopa Sheriff Paul Pizzoni. Pima Sheriff Chris Nanos. Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego. Excuse me if I mispronounce. Tucson Mayor Regina Romero. Maricopa Recorder Stephen Richard. Superintendent of Public Instruction Katie Hoffman. Corporate Commissioner Anna Tovar, Corporate uh, Corporations Commissioner Lee Marquez Peterson, Corporations Commissioner Sandra D. Kennedy, Corporations Commissioner Justin Olson, District 9 Senator Victoria Steele, District 10 Senator Kirsten Engel, District 25 Representative Russell Bowers, District 9 Representative Randall Fries. District 10 Representative Domingo uh, de Garzea. District 12 Representative Tra Travis Granham. These individuals right now have been put on notice publicly and through the court systems. You are usurping your position and the courts will find that the evidence is there and it is your duty to come before the court and prove us wrong. So, as, as a witness, I am Daniel Wood and I'm here to let you know you've been put on notice. Thank you so much and God bless America. So it sounds like some heads are gonna roll. If nothing else, it's gonna uh, bring attention to what's going on and more and more people are gonna be jumping on this We The People uh, movement. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, going from uh, Arizona to all the other states and uh, we got people like uh, Doug Tenaple and Behizzi and, and Q Out of the Darkness and uh, uh, Nick uh, Moseder, uh, and the list goes on and on. And these guys are, are creating a movement by getting the word out. And the more people that get the word out and the more you share, which by the way, please give us a like and share and so we can get the word out. And uh, we appreciate you guys and see you on the next one.